On Saturday the 5th of April, the Sutherland Shire Netball Association and UNICEF ran a charity event, Goals for Kids. The aim was to raise funds and awareness on the child's right to play sport under Article 31 on the Convention on the Rights of a Child. This is just one example of how ideal sport-related activities are as an effective outreach for charities and fundraisers. The right to play is really important for children all over the world. It's um, like here in the Southern Shire, we're really lucky because we actually here at the Southern Shire Nipple Association is actually the largest nipple association in the world. So we have a really good competition, and the kids can have some fun and play with each other um, around the world. Though um, not every kid is is um, lucky enough to be able to have access to education and things like that. So through sport, they can learn about like just bits and pieces for every day. Um, it also helps with health education, HIV, AIDS, gender equality, child protection, and child protection and child development. A love of sport is something that members of the community can relate to and Goals for Kids enables them to understand just how important the right to play sport is. Um, never just means having a lot of fun on the weekends, meeting up with my friends, running around, staying fit and just having a really great time. And why do you think it's important that children should have the right to play sport? I think it's important for children to have the right to play sport because it just gives them time to really be a kid, to have fun, um, meet out with friends, enjoy their time. The unique atmosphere provided by sport has supported a number of good causes, from the breast cancer walk to City to Surf sponsorship and the upcoming Sydney Children's Hospital bike ride. Netball coordinator Susan Cameron explains how netball brings people together. Because if you look around you here, it's not just about the players and the coaches and the teams. It's about everybody getting involved. It's everybody from grandparents to little brothers and sisters to parents to just friends, boyfriends, wives, husbands. Everybody can be involved in sport. And that's a really good community thing and an aspect that everybody should look at. And every child should be offered that opportunity to come along with their family and participate in something. Prior to the event, $1,000 was already donated, half of this by a local tradies club that frequently contributes to sport-related fundraisers. Within only a few days, a further $1,000 was raised. Uh, well, sport is already has a really good culture and um, it's already a really supportive community. So since you've already got people all together who are really passionate and care about each other, it's another great environment where you can raise awareness about different issues and raising money just comes hand in hand with that. Statistics show that after child sponsorship, the highest level of giving is to charities that have a direct relation to the donor. And sport is a great avenue to reach people from all backgrounds united in their love for sport. Do you think that you would be more likely to give money to a charity that is related to sport? I think so, because it's good to just see kids out there having fun and you can kind of see and know a bit more about what's going on and just that fun atmosphere. Yeah. Events like Goals for Kids are perfect for charities and fundraisers because they break down barriers and remind people of their shared humanity.